Hey YouTube, I'm Sean and welcome back to Part Time Fab. So today's episode, I'm not sure what we're going to get done. We're still working on the grinding stand. Uh, not sure how much time I'm going to have in the garage today. So uh, might be a good day, might be a bad day in the garage. You never know. Um, any day is really a good day in the garage. If you're spending time in your garage working with your tools, that's, I guess that is a good day. I guess what I mean is I don't know how much time I'm going to get today, but uh, until we find out, I'm going to start working on the grinding stand and uh, get back to that. Hopefully uh, might get done today. And uh, got, a, got a vise to go on top and we'll get some steel cut and prepped and maybe get to welded on that. So. Let's get to it. So the first thing I did was to separate the top of the welding table and the piece that will become the top of the vice stand. This uh, piece of plate for the welding table, that it'll be, you'll, you'll see that in a video soon to come. As you can see, I use propane instead of acetylene propane does not cut well at all so I'll be purchasing some acetylene real soon it uh, it really made a horrible cut it, it was uh, it was really tough and uh, just made a really bad cut there was a lot of grinding I had to do The next step, I needed to cut out the square for the top. I really needed to cut the square, a I really cut the square a little too small, but I wanted it to be close, I wanted the bolts to be close to the edge on, on the sides, but really not as close as it actually came out. As you'll see later, the uh, I really should have recut this plate, but you know, it uh, it worked out well. I'm, I'm still happy with the way it, it, it all worked out. As you can see here, that propane really was horrible to cut with. I've uh, actually got some video footage that you'll see on uh, an upcoming video of, of how how different propane really does cut from acetylene and how much better it does cut. So look forward to that, seeing that in the future. Next you see here, I'm cleaning up the sides of the top plate. The propane really left it looking very bad, and, but since, uh, since I took this video, I have actually went out and got some acetylene, and uh, the cuts look a lot better. 
but it really left that plate awfully dirty, as you'll see here. I really like this vise. The jaws are six inches wide. The jaws will open six inches wide. And then the uh, throat depth, I think, was uh, four inches, something like that. It's uh, really, really like this vise. So as I said before, the holes in this top plate, you can see there, they're going to be really, really close to the edge, and, and that actually made for a real hard time when I was uh, using the drill press, but it all worked out. These, uh, you're about to see some transfer punches that I have. I got those at a swap meet, and they were some of the, the best $15 I have ever spent. Those things are very handy when it comes to transferring a pattern to a piece of steel. The one thing I will caution you against is when you're doing uh, this process that I'm going through right here is uh, clamp your workpiece down so it doesn't move. Uh, as you can see there, I did not clamp that vise down and it did move. It shifted just a little bit and caused some problems. The holes were just moved ever so slightly. And after I got the holes drilled, I had to go back in and uh, use a die grinder and, and, and uh, grind them out a little bit to make them fit. As you can see there, I, I always wear your safety glasses just as a safety point. You don't want to spend time in the yard getting a piece of metal out of your eye. Just use them, no big deal, move on. After a while, you won't even notice they're there. So here we go, getting some holes drilled. I started off with a uh, using a pilot bit to, to get the hole going, and then moved on to a larger bit. This, uh, this drill is actually pretty old and I've abused it quite a bit. The, uh, the pulleys are made of plastic uh, and not steel. I'm not sure that, that was a very poor design and they, they've uh, certainly paid the price over the years. They're actually, uh, they have melted on me a little bit and uh, I'm, I'm looking at getting a new drill press very soon.
One thing I do struggle with quite a bit is uh, grinding my drills. When uh, I've actually got a tool that it's a it's a gauge that helps you grind them, but I just I don't have a whole lot of practice at it. So you can see me using the uh, uh, threading oil or tapping oil here to uh, help that drill bit get down in there. It uh, that that oil really helps a lot. Next here you'll see we're cleaning up the surface a little bit where the uh, vise will sit down on that. Don't have a countersink uh, just yet so we'll, we'll just use a grinder and smooth those down. Okay right here you'll see the problem I was talking about with the, uh, with the bolts. The, they just don't want to go in. I, I just let that, uh, that plate slide just a little bit. But uh, a quick uh, little bit of die grinder action, and uh, you'll see here that those bolts go right in, no problem. All right, next up here, we're going to uh, prep this H beam for welding, and and then get everything all squared up and flush and uh, do some welding. I really shouldn't have painted that beforehand but uh, you may have noticed that uh, this took a little while and I, I, if I remember right I, I actually was two days so I just went ahead and put some paint on it to keep it from rusting and I figured I'd grind it off and, and weld it on later so I hate to open the door and bring in new light. That makes the uh, video footage pretty dark, but um, with welding and making all that smoke, I wanted to get that out of there, so just open the door and we'll deal with the video. I think next time I need to point the video from the other direction. That, that would probably uh, help this problem. Looks like one final fit up before we uh, put the weld on it. Looks like the bolts fit good. And we'll uh, lay that sucker down and throw some metal on it. Hey YouTube, looks like we're finally done with this project. I think um, 
not exactly done. Still got to shoot some paint on it and go get some bolts, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching this build. Um, I really enjoyed it, although it has taken taken about a week and a half because uh, just not a whole lot of time in the garage to work on it. But um, really enjoyed it. Think uh, think I'm going to like this stand. It is very heavy. I think. Uh, I think this could uh, hold about anything that I need to do. And uh, if all else fails, we'll weld this up and uh, put some sand in the bottom if, it, if it's not heavy enough. So uh, might, uh, might have to do that sometime, you never know. But um, good, uh, good vice stand. And um, the other stand that I'm building, the universal stand that'll go along with this build, Still working on that, uh, just uh, not a whole lot of time. Had a lot of um, personal things going on, a couple parties to go to and whatnot, family events, so uh, not a whole lot of time in the garage. But uh, look forward to spending some more time down here, making some more videos, and uh, hope to have those to you soon. So please, always rate, comment, and uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this. If you don't like it, let me know. Uh, and hit that big subscribe button so uh, I'll know if you, if you like the channel or not. But uh, see you next time. Stay safe.